Welcome back to Blender Sushi Life Noding. In this episode, I want to show you a couple of tricks involving um, grease pencil and all these uh, variants of grease pencil. Alright, so let's get started. So as you know, this is just a normal grease pencil. I actually sculpted this guy as well, so it has like variations on the stroke. If you are new to Blender or even if you're already like long time users of Blender, you know grease pencil is pretty cool and grease pencil is really powerful it's actually even i think slightly higher than curve um, so from grease pencil you can render this out but it's not like a 3d it's not actual 3d so normally you want to convert grease pencil objects into curve so this is a curve objects with a bit of bevel so if you if you convert grease pencil into curve you can have this ability to create depth okay so it keeps the radius of the original grease pencil so you can have like a 3d version like this but you don't have much control on the curve radius either okay if you want more control we go to the next uh, step which is uh, using geometry nodes Okay, my geometry node setup might be slightly... <laughs> There's a lot of wires going on, but it's actually pretty simple. Basically, this will give us three different version. Okay, the first one is actually simple if, if I want to explain it. So from curve, if you just bring it into geometry nodes, and if you use like a simple curve to points, you can control uh, the number of points per curve strokes or you can just use length so you can control the number of points kind of like equally along the path and you can control the radius a single radius maybe that's all you need this will render only in cycles okay in this case giving us this random color because if I show you the shader The shader is looking like this point info random color plug into this guy okay so that's the shader that is using the rest of this uh, why why is this more complex I want to give a couple of options so if we we can actually switch it between different version and you need to adjust the radius I believe yeah, there's a slight complications there with the with the radius sometimes it's just kind of when you transfer the radius from the original grease pencil into curve it keeps the radius under control points uh, but anyway this is just a couple of variations that you can simply apply on the grease pencil itself if you if i want to explain it so we have a couple of switch node to switch between three different surfaces the first one is simply just mesh uh, it's using curve to mesh with a curve circle that's and the radius is being passed from the original curve so this is probably all all you need uh, depending on situations so you can have curve like this with fill or without fill so that's fine the rest of the other two is maybe maybe this one is more interesting points to volume volume to mesh but the radius is coming it's being captured from the original curve okay this is probably what you want and you can kind of smooth this guy as well okay so it's looking like a like a scalp so you don't need to understand all of this you can actually just simply one you create once and then once you've done it you can kind of draw new grease pencil let, let me show you create a new grease pencil blank and I'll switch to draw mode uh, I set the radius and the strength just just draw like something super simple oh okay it's 
Okay, screen color. Okay, interesting. And let's just draw like a simple primitive character. I like my character to have like a, all the lines kind of connected. So it's kind of interesting looking character. It's very primitive looking, but it has certain styles. This should be connected as well. Yeah. Okay, so this a simple character, you can then switch to sculpt mode and adjust the thickness. So you might want to do this, you might not want, but if you add a thickness, then it's gonna add a bit of um, kind of solid solidity to your drawing. Okay. Once you've done that, you can create duplicates or actually just select this and then convert to Bezier curve. You're gonna have a new curve and you just simply assign it to one of these. Select the curve, select this guy and then link the or just copy the modifier. So I can control the radius, the length. And if I ever wanna make a different one, switch. Yeah, this radius thing is, it's a bit funny that we need to do that. But uh, anyhow, this is how it is. I think the node the nodes setup itself can be improved. This is just like super basic one, but I just want to show you yeah, different example. Okay, this is the one with the random color. So this is the original grease pencil and this is the one just the variations of the same thing. Why why am I using Grease Pencil, you might ask, okay, and I keep saying Grease Pencil is more powerful, especially when you're doing drawing, okay? You see, you can draw on the stroke, or you can draw on the origin, on the surface, on, on 3D cursor, and the target can be just, for example, just the end point or the first point. Uh, hard to explain until, unless you kind of draw on top of it so you can you can actually extend the stroke kind of like almost like a there's a like a like a plastic tool that you can buy where you kind of drawing things while the the plastic is hot so you can kind of like draw on top of the strokes this is a kind of thing that's going on and I guess you can you can also do the same thing with curve once <clears throat> once you create a curve and bit of geometry nodes and then you kind of but you you there's still some controls with the grease pencil um, it's hard to explain but yeah just all this stroke placement is really powerful if you know and then you, of course, you always need to convert it to curve, Bezier curve, and then simply, okay, we have stray curve there, we can always delete it, and then simply copy the modifier, suddenly we have this creature that's, it's a more or less 3D, and if you ever want to adjust it, you can still do that using edit mode and maybe move with a bit of proportional editing. Yes, just to Give it more like a 3d instead of just a single plane and 
and with curve you know by default grease pencil to curve is you know a little bit messy you can always resemble this beforehand clean up decimate you don't have to do that but still Zero point zero one or zero point zero two and and since this is volume, you can uh, you can actually uh, go inside the volume and turn on adaptivity if you want to do that. But you can also use like a merge by distance. Yes, we will. This will give you like equalized triangles, and then I usually use dual mesh. Now it's looking probably more interesting. Yeah, a lot of controls there. Uh, points to volume we can increase the number of points maybe yeah whoa okay maybe I just did something anyway that's basically what I want to show you. Hopefully you find it useful. Thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.